It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. So in today's video, we are going to talk about this Mega Drive NES input system. And for the people wondering, Wicked, why do you throw these boxes? This is what we call pure satisfaction. So this thing comes built in with 22 games. Shame that the box is a little bit bust up because the thing looks pretty nice. And the box, the box. Hey, look at this. It comes even with a multi-game card. So this is something very funny and, and that makes me very curious. Does this thing contain, contain 22 games or does it have built-in games? All right, so let's try to get it out. Leaving the system itself, include a lot of plastic. And I totally forgot, it's from my favorite brand. Cool, baby. Yeah. All right, time for the chemical test. Ah, oh, smells quite nice. All right, model number S32. Wow, this thing feels really flimsy. <laughs> Oh. oh, this is really bad. Hey, it got an LED power indicator. That is something that you don't see very often with the clone. Two controller ports. At the back, we're having AV out. I'm very curious if these are connected at all. We're having stereo sound. We're having 5 volt micro USB. So, this is what we call a next generation knockoff system. Let's see what we have in here. The power supply, because there's basically micro USB. We're having here. The AV out cable. Oh, no, it wasn't really a manual. That's it. Let's take a close look at the controller. Wow. Hmm. They feel weird. Oh, they feel horrible. Happened, but it seems to be it's working. So the building games are just horrible. Or better said, they are not working. Well, I just crank up the volume, or I just lower the volume because damn, this thing was loud. Indeed. All right, so let's take a close look at the Olympic 2000 multi-game card. What I don't get is that was the game that booted up. With this horrible controller. Long jump. Wow, so long jump and Olympic are the same game. Triple jump. <laughs> Signal output is not bad at all. The touch of the buttons is also not bad, but what is really bad about it is the D-pad. Oh, nostalgia. So beside the crappy controllers and the console itself looks really cheap, feels really cheap. You can play NES games on it. I mean you're really wondering, are there a lot of people buying these clones nowadays or what? I buy them. Then we do a quick tear down because I'm very curious what are we going to get with this thing. Are there so many screws in this thing or what? Oh, my screwdriver is not the right measurement, I think. Oh, it's going well. So, if you look at the image quality, I must say I am surprised with this thing. The sound is good. The emulation is not bad at all, and besides the Rockman part, that was more like a dead game, it is not bad at all. So I'm guessing these things are so flimsy cheap, even when you're putting the cartridge in, it wiggles man, it wiggles all the freaking way. But that is so funny that there are, let's see, are there screws in here or what? Are there screws in here? I guess not. 
Oh. All right, so let's take a close look at the springs. Wow. Check it moving. <laughs> that is really bad. So this is the only thing that is inside this meme machine. <laughs> So we're having here the on and off switch, PCB board for the two controller ports, the small LED going all the way from PCB board to here. This thing has a very long legs. Reset button. I don't know where they put the games or I think there are no games because it did boot up and give some weird signals, but I'm guessing they just basically lied on the packaging. So this is the only thing where we're going to get the PCB board with the connector. And here at the back where you can find this little ribbon cable goes from the middle to the back. And you can see this, I think is more like giving the power to the system and giving a signal back. So this is the only thing that it does. There's nothing much in it. There's only air and chemical plastic. Oh, all right, so let's put the bad, bad thing together. The shitty cool baby clone. Oh, it's very bad. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're going to get shitty controllers, a shitty console, and a very shitty multi game card. So I'm going to give this thing to the multi card collector, this multi game card, because he collects them. I just wanted to show you, by the way, this. Look at this. I have never seen this. The wiggled cartridge. Oh, even they put Super Mario on it. The decal off. It is, oh, this is Mario Sunshine. That is so cheap. And they call it Super Game. Super Game. My ass. All right, so the system itself, the output signal is not bad at all, I must say. But it feels quite flimsy. Like all these systems I've reviewed from the past and even now. So the controller. Yeah, I think... They have a very long cable, that's the only positive thing I can think of to say about it, but the controller does the job, but the D-pad is pretty horrible. It will not give you a very good NES experience, it doesn't break very easily, so it is also very positive. Yeah, you can always use original controller. So that's what you're going to get. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family, because we're having more of the clone systems.